Welcome back everybody to modding the original Xbox. This is part 18. Today we are going to talk about setting up a new dashboard, specifically XBMC and the Origins plugin. So today I will be using a hard modded 2TB Xbox. I have booted up Heimdall's engineering disk. I've modded my stock partition sizes, which you can do with any hard modded Xbox if you want. And I have a video on how to do that here. And I have put all the stock files back onto the C and E partitions. You don't have to do this step for a soft modded Xbox and you only have to do it for a hard modded Xbox if you want to start fresh. Otherwise you can just select to install XBMC onto your E or F partition. I will install it to my E partition into the apps folder. Now if you don't have a working DVD drive, I have left a link where you can download the latest version of XBMC and you can FTP that to your Xbox. Let's also go ahead here and click on Install Applications to E. Now that we got XBMC installed, let's navigate to File Explorer, open up the E drive, or F if you selected to install to F, and select Apps, XBMC, and Default.XBE to launch XBMC. Now that XBMC is launched, you can verify that you are on the latest version by navigating to System, system info and at the bottom it should say 3.5.3-R33027. Now as you can see this skin has not aged very well so let's replace it with the origin skin. Let's open up FileZilla and connect to our Xbox. Under eApps XBMC open the skin folder and copy the XBMC origins folder. The contents of this folder has a 720 folder in it. So this is the folder we need to copy over. Okay, so now our FTP is all done. We can change the skin. So navigate to System, Settings, Appearance, and on the Skin tab, we can click down onto XBMC Origins. After you change it, don't press anything for about 10 seconds and it should automatically change the skin. Now we have the original XBMC Origins installed, but I will be adding the XBMC Origins UI update. I did forget to add the key maps file, so let's copy that over first. Key maps should go to E, Apps, XBMC, System, Key Maps, and just overwrite the files that are in there. Now we can copy over our Origins UI update directly over the files we just copied inside of E, Apps, XBMC, Skin, XBMC Origins. After that you can reboot your Xbox and relaunch XBMC and your Origins interface should look different. If you have any problems with FTP you might want to consider relaunching Unleash X and then finish FTPing your files. Okay so we are now loaded into our updated Origins dash this dash comes with eight different boxes that we can customize to launch various different things, but we can actually add a whole lot more if we wanted to. We also have a featured game section. I love this feature because it will randomly select 10 games from your library at each boot up so you can see what games are available and it might encourage you to try another game. You also have a favorites button as well. There is one problem with the favorites button that comes with this UI update. Button 27 is broken. We can fix it though using FTP. So we need to just open up the XBMC Origin Skin folder and then in the 720p folder we have the home.xml. Now it's helpful to have Notepad++ installed on your computer. And what I recommend that you do is just copy this over into your profile folder or anywhere onto your computer. And then you can open up the home.xml file in Notepad++. Now press Control F on the keyboard to open up the Find dialog box and type in 2027. Then click Find Next. You can close the Find dialog box now. And then if you look right here, we have favorite number 27. Now over on the right side of the screen, 2027 is highlighted. But if you look right above that at 26, the format of this line is a little bit different. So we need to remove the 2-0 as well as the on click at the end of 27 and then put in a round bracket or a parenthesis. 
Once you have number 27 look exactly like number 26, you can save this home.xml file and you can copy it back to your original Xbox. Okay, so now I'm going to take some time to actually copy these games over to the original Xbox. So under the F partition, I'm going to create a folder called Games. And then I'm going to create a new directory. And I'm going to label this one Number Through C. After that, now I'm going to start dragging some games onto the Xbox. Once I get some games on here, we'll take a look at our dash and see how it looks. Okay, so I have copied about eight games so far to my Xbox hard drive. Let's click on the Games button. We don't see anything yet because we have to configure our folders. You should click the B button to go back a menu and select Add Source. Now select Browse and navigate to F Drive and Games, and then click OK. You should see the Name option automatically change to Games. You can now click Save. Now you can click Back till you get to the main menu and click on Games again. This time you should see a title. This is our number through C folder. Once you click on it, there should be some games inside of it. I haven't loaded any of the artwork just yet, so we only get a generic picture. But if we click on one, it will automatically load the game. Now that our game has loaded, we should reboot. Let's add the artwork needed at this point. There's a giant artwork pack you can download, I believe from Rocky 5, that you can just drop into your games folder. Let's talk really quick about artwork. On the main folder, there is a fanart.jpg file. This is the background that will show up when the game is highlighted. There is also a default.tbn file. This is the main icon for the game. It's labeled exactly the same as the game itself, which is default.xbe. We also have an underscore resources folder, which contains a default.xml file. This file contains metadata for the game. There's also several other pieces of artwork, such as a banner.image, poster image, CD icon, and more inside of the artwork folder. So let's go ahead and relaunch the Xbox, and now we should see some games show up under the featured games with their icons. Now let's look under games and we can see we have artwork. If you press up on the controller, you can bring this side pane up and select enable fan art, which will set the background. We can also change the views. You can even show the disc and have it rotate. Personally, my favorite is poster view with the use of alternative posters turned on. Let's talk really quick about favorites. The lowest favorite number is 24. Click on 24 and you should see the select shortcut 24 dialog box pop up. Now select a game and the shortcut should be added. You can add as many shortcuts as you want, but you will need to modify the home.xml to do so. I will talk about that in one of the next videos. This seems like a great stopping point. I wanted to just get started talking about this. I have lots more to show and much of it is already recorded, so leave me a comment on what you want to see in the next XBMC video. I'm going to talk more about adding apps, emulators, changing the buttons on the home screen, and various other configurations. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.